Hi, I'm Jonathan Montague and I'm a rising sophomore. Uh, I'm currently this summer I'm working for the shop and we're working on improving our shop spaces, um, creating uh, more uh, organized spaces with more uh, capability and capacity. Hi, I'm Lydia Hodges. I'm a rising junior. In the summer I've been working with uh, the professor Chris Lee um, on his biomedical um, applications. So what we've been mainly working on is creating these molds that can be used in breast biopsy treatments. So that way um, treatment can be given to more uh, people without having to wait for lesions to grow larger. Hi, I'm Deer. Um, I'm a rising sophomore and I'm working on a iPhone app called Clue for Paul Ruvalo's research team this summer and we are creating an app which lets users record a route through space using the camera system on iPhones and it lets people who are blind or ha who have low vision retrace their steps using audio feedback exclusively. Hi, I'm Arwen. I'm a rising sophomore. I'm working in the Lair Lab and we're making a device for visually impaired swimmers to use to navigate in the water and to do that we're using these uh, XB uh, RF modules and Arduino. Hi, my name is Sabrina Pereira. Uh, I am a rising junior and what my team is doing uh, this project this summer is we are working to bring in more context and ethics into specific parts of Olin, like it could be in the curriculum or it could be in the culture. So what this really boils down to is we're trying to create more opportunities for people to think about and reflect on the world around them and what their, what their role is as engineers. I'm Evan Neuschmidt, I'm a rising senior. And I'm Axel Tuadesa, I'm a rising junior. And we're working with Olin's artist in residence, Robert Wexler, on a cube of 100,000 interlocking pennies. Uh, so each of those pennies is individually notched in the same orientation so they fit together with the press fit. Right now there's a robot that's automating most of that task and that's what I've been working on mostly. And then for most of this summer I've been working on the next few steps which involve pressing all of the string, all the individual pennies together to make strings like you're seeing there. Uh, we developed this tool this summer that can do that and then once the strings are pressed together um, they are then put together into layers similar to this one. So that's the layer of uh, what will soon be a 100,000 penny cube sculpture. And uh, for reference, this is 3,600 pennies. Um, and, and this is what the 100,000 penny cube will look like when it's completed, except much larger. Hi, I'm Robert Wexler, and I'm an artist. Recently, I've been working with the American Penny which is extraordinarily common. I like to tell people that it's one of humanity's most numerous artifacts. There are billions and billions and billions of them out there. And um, that is really exciting to me. I like to work with things that everybody kind of has a connection to. And pennies, because they're so common, they're very easily overlooked. In fact, they're sort of infamously valueless at the moment. You can't use them to pay for anything. And I think that's a really interesting because they're um, a money piece. And so I like to work with them because it's a way for me to connect with the audience, show them something that is both extremely familiar to them. Everybody can walk up to this sort of sculpture and say like pennies, I know what a penny is, penny, penny, penny. But they haven't seen it in this sort of array before. And so it's a way to show something to somebody that they've seen a million times before, but show it to them in a new light, in a new way in a way that gets them to stop and reconsider that sort of overlooked, forgotten object.